created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Torque method of chiropractic use. You use a tool to adjust also working with your nerves. It's worked for getting my hips, uh, but my left calf has lost about a half an inch and half the strength. So I guess the torque method, if you've heard of it, and um, any applications for bodybuilders? Um, you know, I, I know I know what it is. Um, it's, it's a tool they use to help align the body, but I, I'm not really, you know, I have never had it done on me, and, and I don't like to usually comment on like therapies unless I've actually had someone work on me with the therapy so I can give you like a firsthand practical uh, response to how I felt it felt. I, you know, I'm not, I'm all for like alternative therapies and trying them. Unfortunately, a lot of them promise too much and they don't deliver. I always say, you know, you're better off under promising and over delivering, but you know, th there seems to be some application for it. And I, but the problem is I think, you know, a lot of some of these, chiropractors who use it think that it can cure everything. And I think that's why people leave dissatisfied. You know, I think there are certain situations that probably will, you know, or conditions that would respond better than others. You know, to me, the best results I ever got from chiropractic was when I went to my friend, Dr. Derling Castro, who still practices in the, in Smithtown, uh, New York on Long Island. And because he did a combination of active release techniques, ART, with chiropractic, because a lot of times, you know, you could be out of alignment, but the, a lot of times the reason why your spine is out of alignment is because the muscles, you know, get damaged. You know, you're working out, you damage some muscle, you pull a little muscle, and then scar tissue builds up, and then the scar tissue pulls on the muscle, and that pulls like a rib head out of place, or it pulls a vertebrae, a vertebral process out of place, so just a little bit. And, and then you start getting a little pain and discomfort, and and you go to the chiropractor and they pop it back in place. The problem is the scar tissue and the muscle is still there. So as soon as you leave the office and you move your shoulder backwards, the thing pops right back out of place again. ART gets in there and strips that adhesion, that scar tissue out, so that the, now the muscle is not being pulled in the wrong plane of motion and it's back where it should be. And then when you pop that, that, that you know, whatever you're popping back in place, it stays there. And so that's why I think the combination of ART chiropractic is the way to go. So if you can find a practitioner in your area that does both, that is going to give you, and I think is going to yield the best results, to be honest. Being in a lot of questions um, regarding uh, Sam Sulik, obviously uh, <laughs> really becoming one of the breakout stars in bodybuilding and fitness really across the world. Uh, Angel RDZ wants to know, would you invite, uh, rather, he wants. He's, he's saying that you should invite Sam Sulik for an interview, but we've been getting a lot of questions uh, as to whether you would reach out to Sam to get him on the show for an interview. Hundred percent, I'd love to interview Sam because you know what? I, I like the fact that he, you know he kind of reminds me of not necessarily myself, but a little bit because you know I was in that stage where I, I couldn't gain weight and I was doing the McDonald's and I was eating like Hagen Dazs at night and. And, you know, and I was still ripped and, and, and you know, I, I had a very similar metabolism to him. So I can only imagine, I always say to myself, can you imagine if there was like cell phones back then and there was social media? If I would have been, you know, filming myself at McDonald's every day and going out for like, you know, we used to go at, at midnight. I would go to the diner. You know, people who don't live in New York don't know what we're talking about. There's diners are 24 hours in New York. You can go get anything you want at, at any time of the day. And I would go and I would eat like like literally like a two pound like steak burger. It was like basically a big hamburger, a chopped sirloin. I think they call it chopped sirloin steak or something like that. And I would eat like fries with it. And I would eat like, sometimes I would eat chocolate chip pancakes with it. I would do this at 12 midnight. And then I go home and I would actually stay up and do some computer work. This is in the, in the fledgling you know, years of the, uh, you know, where they had dial up modems and you had to wait 20 minutes for the thing to dial up. And then I would actually have a shake and go to bed at like, you know, three, four in the morning and, and, you know, sleep to like 11 the next day. And, and I mean, those are the days, but I did some crazy stuff. I mean, if I would fill, would have filmed myself at 12 midnight eating these crazy meals, people would have gone nuts. So I really can, I, I really relate to what Sam's doing. And I think that, you know, a lot of people say it's irresponsible and he shouldn't be doing that. He, he doesn't have any body fat on him. He, he's not, he's obviously burning through all these calories. He's not telling anyone else to go out there and do that. 
he's saying, this is what I do because I have such a fast metabolism. The only way to keep up with that metabolism and is to eat these crazy amounts of food and these very calorie dense foods. And look, I'm growing from it because it's slowing my, it's actually allowing my metabolism to utilize the food and, and build muscle. And so sure. I'd love to get him on. If he's interested, we can reach out to him. You know, I'm, I'm sure, you know, my friend Fuad would love to get a little extra, you know, publicity on our channel and, and I'd love to give it to them, you know, because I know he works for him. So let's, let's reach out to them soon and we'll see if we can get them on.